It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of source magic. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the Magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. A story unfolds in one of the cities in Revelon. The witch sorcerer, who is a mysterious figure at this point in time, uses source magic and summons monsters, killing everything in sight. The monsters are defeated for now. But as a result of this planned attack by the witch sorcerer, the magistrate, led by Bishop Alexander the Innocent, declares all sorcerers to be criminals. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. Sorcerers like you, including the mysterious witch sorcerer and anybody suspected of using source magic, have been captured, collared and sent to Fort Joy, where you will be cured of your affliction, a cure that may cost you dearly. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. Now, the witch sorcerer's plan was to kill the Godwoken, which I think is one of us. It looks like she was double crossed, possibly by Bishop Alexander the Innocent. And this is where our epic adventure begins, aboard one of the prison ships. Why am I lost? Yeah, look at that sexy oh, beast. What did they do to me? Woo! That's a final. You can talk to the skull, eh? Let's get our bearings. Which no, you're not a very chatty fellow. Not a very chatty you? fellow, oh, are you? Oh, guys, I have Why? to restart my game. It's glitching. I'm gonna go speak to. Talk to this woman. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to the woman. Guys, come with me. I, I order like you to, to talk to, to, to the woman. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Hey. Oh, not to worry. Every yeah, dog yeah, has yeah, to get used yeah, to his yeah, leash. Come here, it's it's okay, everybody, join in on the conversation. Don't hear anything. No, no, she, she stopped. She, oh, she stopped talking. Yeah, everyone's in. Okay, good. Okay, let me continue. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. Okay. So, Magister Williams was the guy, I think, right on the other side of the boat. Uh, okay, I'm gonna You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. <laughs> Check the barbarian. My barbarian there. Grunt. What you've never seen, and I've, 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 you've never seen no wooden cave before. No what is this place? No Are you seriously? <sighs> this is. <laughs> this is a Ooh. ship. It floats on water. It is a vessel that allows oh. us to travel the sea. <laughs> Index fingers either. pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing <laughs> gander. I love the barbarian figure. Okay, now what? Okay, let me continue. My word, you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with Befud that sedative. Befuddled. Let me continue. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. Okay. Continue. A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source for good. What? Hey, hey. I'll need to write but you put uh, right you put uh, you pull at the thing around your neck. Frivolously, fruit a little bit. Depend, d demand to know why she collared you. Okay. Why, for my peace of mind, of course. 
Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. You recall great power building inside you, the one you can command before your capture. Unleash them. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. Okay. My, look at the concentration on your face. Damn. All will, but no result. It seems as though there's a okay. There you have it, see? The collars function. It neuters you. Neuters? Makes you unable to cast source. Okay. For your own Why peace you of mind, of course. Team? Yours <laughs> and the whole world. <laughs> I've got two sets. Take your leave. Okay, guys, should we go speak to Magistrate Waters? Walters. A young Magister Walters. stands pale and silent. Her you knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Oh, end. Good gods! There's okay, does anybody want to speak to Walters? Oh, here. Waters, eh? Quite the mess they that made. Walk through there. Blood. Okay, do you want me to talk to her? Yeah, you talk, you have the... I'll wait in the chair. Ugly sight, isn't it? <laughs> okay, everyone joining in? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, where is she? Oh, yeah. well, you can just click on me, eh? And then you'll get into my conversation, eh? Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and follow the source that did this. Okay. Infirma that she wasn't the man's protector, she was his captor. Oscar, why she's leading you close to the crime scene? For all she knows, you could be the killer. Yeah. But she looks up at you with a mirthless smile. She knows you were still. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. How did you know Didn't that, Daniel? Even stir. <laughs> we did it last time. The only <laughs> indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. I've got one here for Lizard. Yes, I can. Say you don't ha hail from the house of dreams. When you sleep, you truly sleep. Eh? Figured as much. <laughs> Listen, I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Should we... Bring me a good lead and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. Okay. How about that? Number three. Number three, eh? Laugh, should we think you help a magister, someone who keeps you locked under lock and key? Think about it. It's one of you who got killed, not one of us. Oh, we want true. to find who did it and bring them to justice. Continue. Who's your real enemy here? You are. Everyone. You let me know if you hear anything. Whoever did this is dangerous. Dangerous. Okay, guys, I've got a really important question. Yeah? Is uh, Paul's chicken wrap nice? Paul? Is what? Paul's, Paul's chicken wrap. Who's Paul, eh? Pooled. 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 It's like strips Pooled. of chicken. It's like. Oh. All the parts. Is it nice? Yeah. Is it, does it make it Well, f find out. Let us know the order it and then uh, let us know what it's all about. Uh. Yeah, as long as you, you just uh, you can, I'll wait you for that SMS deposit for me to try out. You can be the guinea pig there. I forgot how to say it. I did. Ah, uh, there's nothing. Where are you guys? Hey, let me play something with these guys. Let's see what they say. What's up, guys? Okay, who, who are you? Are you talking to the kids, eh? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, talk to them. Let's. Uh, I'll, we'll join the chat. Eh? My mom told me not to yeah. make friends with dwarves. I she think the dwarves are nice. Like she people. Does read that whole part out. You do know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't, eh? She does. No, she we. You hear it, but we don't hear the first sentence. Only the second one. When you when you continue. Then we hear it, not the first uh, initial sort of chat. Wow, so everyone in this ship has a collar. 
yeah, we all we all source, we all source, uh, we all use uh, magic, or can use magic in some form or fashion. Right, should we go talk to the 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 skin licking elf? You know I'm gonna take a um. Would you An please tell this very tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling of dice like onto the surface of a barrel. Okay. They sound like the dry um, cackling of an old witch. Do you guys want to join the chat? Uh, I'm busy chatting with something, someone here. Oh. oh I can't get out of the chat here. Oh shit. Why can't I get out of the chat? <laughs> you got that bucket on your head again. Huh? <laughs> they don't care about us. Who are you chatting to? You must tell us who you're chatting to, eh? I'll give you that knuckle if you keep cutting it. Oh, Tony? Wait, 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 wait. They're picking us off one by one. Uh, Daniel, you must turn the sensitivity of your mic down a bit, eh? Is she into me or not? What? What's he doing? We're hearing the blowing, eh? You're breathing into the mic. Yo, are you blowing into the mic? Yo. And now? That's you. <laughs> well, that's you, Tony. Eh? You no, still no, hear it? No, yeah, no, no, it's gone, no. Because the mic was too high up. Oh. What? So it was by your nose or something? Yeah, right in front of my mouth. Snorting, eh? D uh, Daniel, do you want to come listen to the conversation? Not really, I've heard it before. Oh, have we played? Have you played before? <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't know why he didn't just answer the question instead of just laughing out loud. Yeah, but it's supposed to be like the first time now. It is the first time. Your character. <laughs> I bet that's just what they'll look like. Wonder what she's doing. Ask her if you may join her. She shakes her head. Continue. Game for one, I'm afraid. Okay. Rolling oh, dice. Right there. Continue. Deciding fates. Fran, whose fate is she deciding? Don't worry, honey. It isn't yours. Oh. She looks you up and down Slip. with a merest tint of a coy smile on her lips. I'm so torn, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Never say never, though. If she can decide the fate with dice, I'll see if she can read the future. In the car entrails as well. She eyes you quite seriously. Holy shit. <laughs> Not the future, no. But I can read the past in flesh. She One of the queen. perks of being an elf, you see. Who the elf? I did it too. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Oh yeah. Shall I? Ah, don't see why not. Extend she your gives arm. your arm a vigorous stroke of the tongue, efficient like a cat grooming. Cool. Hmm. Ah. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, you lay awake thinking of someone back home. Ah. You were okay, so reminiscing <laughs> about the things you used to do together. <laughs> Stay at the ground embarrassed. I had quite forgotten about that. She pats you on the shoulder consolingly. <laughs> There, there, don't you worry, darling. Your secret's safe with me. Okay. I don't lick and tell. Lep away, Anthony. Yeah. Would I'm thinking to myself, what? I'm trying to concentrate. They don't care about us. What does that We're mean? Like cattle to them. I'll give you that knuckle if uh, you carry it on. This is a crappy one. one of Can us I cook? They're picking us tell up one no. by one. one. Can we just skip to the part where I reassure you and you shut up? Oh, there we go. On yeah. to the second question. He wants Can you, you knit, we? In short, yeah. uh, tailor? Uh, you'd have enough of this. Goodness gracious me, what a questions. bore. <laughs> Off with you. Quite clearly, you wouldn't have Why didn't you answer sure. him? You could have been his slave. No, dog, I'll pimp slap him. Who's telling me just because I'm black he thinks I deserve to be in rows? No. It is. How dare you <laughs> classify this slop as food? <laughs> I've seen more appetizing Dwarves things coming out of plague stricken pigs. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he meant. There's, there's nothing Especially else I ones. can make, Your Majesty. Turnips and water are all I Okay, have. I'm listening. I've never dined on anything less than a dozen 
Watch your back, new fish. There's a murderer on board, and I'd bet three months' pay it's this Trampiathan. Ah. Rolling his eyes at the Magister's warning, the man named Ifan beckons again. Move closer to him. Yeah. He I'm leans thinking. in and adjusts your collar with a sharp tug, balancing its weight so it no longer presses unpleasantly on your neck. He winks. Pinches less that way, right? Hocking a phlegmy gobbit in your general direction, the sullen magister settles back to his task of glowering at Ifan. And we used to know each other, more's the pity. I was his commander many, many, many moons ago. Isn't that right, Vic? Standing far back from Ifan, the tight-faced magister draws one finger across his throat in an elaborate fashion, but says nothing. Damn! Oh, it's that guy over there, across the room. Ifan grins, flashing pointed white teeth. Same as he was at 14 years old. Oh, no, Only difference is somebody the... gave him a bigger sword and now he's Johnny Big Pants. Ask Ifan what he did to find himself at the mercy of... Of a subordinate, say that you're still curious about the murder. No. Yeah. Let's try to find out who the murderer the is. Man. Finn, is uh, it? I'd no business it with work. him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. He find glances out over at Magister that, Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn shame, sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. Maybe it's this guy here, this Magister. Maybe speak to him, eh? Yeah, I'll speak to him. Because I think he, he might have killed the. It's not him. Did you did you try everybody? Yep. The joy. I've heard a lot. Nothing good. No surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Wonder if we'll get to meet the ringmaster himself. Easy now. I might think the same, but Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. Yeah, guys, is it me? I don't hear anything, eh? No, there's like, I can hear the game. What are you it sounds like it's about playing through someone there. else's headset. You! Dwarf! What's your name? Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Name! Tell him your name. If you to give Magister me Victor <laughs> looks at you suspiciously, then scrawls something illegible down in a tiny notebook. Come at he me, He scrawls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. I'll find out. I always do. Now away with you, at once. At so once. you out. Let's go. Are you talking to the Magister Victor? No, as I walked away, he started talking to me. Okay. Ifan performs an elaborate pantomime of keeping quiet, one finger in front of his lips, as he leans back against the wall. Huh. <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see Spock Joe. Oh, now he's so bad. Maybe I can do it again. There's a dwarf here we can talk to, eh? Where? A broad dwarf sits totally so, upright so on the bench. There's no way of finding closed, out who the drunk guy is. Palms face up on his knees. You can, his beard is a cascade of meticulous yeah, parts, I'm, each yeah, one yeah, braided through with golden medallions. Guys, do you want to join the conversation, eh? Stay away from the Magister. He raises an eyebrow as you approach, but you doesn't open his eyes. the Magister. Listen up, boy. You hear that? Yeah. This guy is telling me all to be think twice about addressing like a child. He opens both eyes and turns his head toward you, looking you up and down. He smiles and closes his eyes once more. You look like a boy to me. <laughs> Listen if you're interested, or get gone if you aren't. That's the way. Uh, ask him what you meant to be hearing. The ship, of course. Quiet and listen to the sounds of the ship. A wave of sound washes over you. The unintelligible chatter of your shipmates. The groaning of wood from floor to ceiling. The boom, crash and crackle of waves around you. Complaints from the sea itself. And? Tell him this, the ship is moaning like a sick man. Sick as a leper's cat. From the state <laughs> of it, I'd say she's being cared for by a bunch of beardless babes who never loved anyone but their own mums. Continue. But there's more. Listen close. Tell him you don't know the time. 
Close your eyes. Just like that. Continue. Squeak. Yes, sis. No, no, no. Continue. His eyes snap open as his countenance breaks into an expression of joy. One great paw claps you on the back. The other catches you before you lose your footing. What? There. You heard that, didn't you? I knew it. I knew it. Aye, this is good news, boy. Good news. Ask him what got him so excited. Was there nothing more than a rat? No, I heard it. What is it supposed to be? It's the wheel. The wheel. Don't you see, you beautiful idiot? Squeaks whenever the helmsman jerks it clockwise, which means we are heading east. Yeah. Oh, my beard. That means if we've been traveling for, yes, only 10.34 nautical miles to Fort Joy. Huh. Tell him it should. Tell him it shouldn't talk like it about a magnificent beard. What? Ask him what's so sad about mm. reaching dry. Ah, so you've eyes as well as ears, eh? You'll go far, mate. Even here. Ask him why he's so excited about reaching. Uh, no, indeed, boy. But that ain't my final destination. Ah. The dwarf well, leans back from the table and strokes his beard, gold medallions jingling merrily. His eyes. I'll be all. Thank you kindly, boy. Cock and eyebrow. If he's hatching an escape plan, you want in. He continues stroking <laughs> his beard, a beatific smile on his lips, and doesn't acknowledge you any more. Ah. So he's planning escape, eh? It was one of them. I know it. Okay, we're going to. I'm trying to concentrate. They don't care about us. We're like cattle to them. Um, Tony, you, you're coming with us, eh? Uh, yeah. Where are you guys? Here to register, oh, sir. Good, good. Magister oh, Williams oh, yeah. is just there about done are. with the last passenger. You faring okay so far? Yeah. Ask me if I do. Seems void walking dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? Oh. You'll see. We're gonna help you. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Daniel, you here? Come in. Okay. Yeah. Alright, now this is the main mission. See the red flag? It's the you main mission, man. What on earth is the matter? Daniel, you stop stealing. <laughs> <laughs> you should play a thief, Standing Daniel. In the center of the room, yeah. you spot a source who are haughtily <laughs> eyeing a pair of nervous okay, looking magisters. The they keep their crossbow trained upon her as she's being interrogated by an officer. Guys, get into the conversation. This is the main, this is the main, uh... Are you guys in, eh? Mm -hmm. Daniel? In what? The conversation, the main, the main quest. Okay, talk to him. Uh, just click on me. There we go. Okay, so read the first, uh... Right, I'm gonna continue, eh? So you admit it then? You murdered that poor fella? Oh, she murdered him. I said you will find her. Continue. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Why did she kill... She turns her head. One of us. And looks you straight us. in the eye. She's the witch from the town, eh? There are others whose lives must end. Jeez, no. Good God. The woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Okay, what should I say? Yes, sir. And turn and leave. The murderer must be brought to justice. This may be a perfect opportunity to, to create a mutiny. Tell the woman you stand by her. No, I'm afraid I always perform my part solo. <laughs> you stay and watch them because... <laughs> Continue. She reaches Shut for her like collar that. and simply removes it. Remove my collar. Continue. I'm just about to create a scene. You should remove your collar. Yeah. So do I mean quickly. If she casts sword, the mine? void woken will come. They'll end us all. I want to join. She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Jeez, though. Okay, are we on her side or what? No, no she's ready. Get her, Tony! 
can't do anything. <laughs> Who in the world is she? <laughs> Oh my happen? word. Uh, that okay. moment. I'm turning What's off the... Done? No time for chatter. We've got to get out of here. Guys, whose mic is that? No, it's the game in the background. Jeez, yeah, like, have you guys stolen everything here? What about the golden chandeliers? Uh, I, I can't use... This is Daniel. Yeah. I think you should be a thief, eh? Break it, break it. Okay, there's no way I can pass through this door. No man, you picked up stuff in that first chest. First Don't there, tell me. Pick lock, pick it. Pick the hammer and break it off. How do I equip it? Oh, okay. right click equip. Oh. Right click equip. And you can give us some tools as well, that would be nice, eh? I don't know. But it would be, wouldn't weapons. it? No, there's no. Yes, it's chicken, chicken dubs bag, eh? <laughs> it's like yo, shit in it. Ah, Daniel, that's rude. Oh, They're stealing in Can you, place. can you give me the shield, dude, Tony? Uh, the shield and one Daniel, hammer. Take a hammer and beat the door. You press I control did. and then click on the door. I did. It's. It's taking down by like five points. Isn't there a key? Tony, can you no give man, me a uh, and a and a hammer, a sharp stone on a stick? Thanks. Yep. <sighs> give me the hammer so I can do something. I'm gonna get myself armored now. All oh, that wooden pitchfork. Okay, cool. Thanks. Guys, I'm pretty sure there's like a key here. Oh, there is. It's taking damage, taking damage. Did you guys have to chop down the door last time? You go. We need your help, eh? Yeah, I'm trying to get, trying to attack the door. Control, you hold control, and then you press left, left mouse button. Jeez, like this door's got 500 hit points. Yeah. Oh, my weapon is uh, gone. It's broken. She is broken. God. What are you, <laughs> Daniel? What are you doing? Uh? Oh my word! It's my weapon. It's broken, man. It's broken. Was, didn't somebody have a key for this, sir? There was a key for this. That's what I've been trying That's to say. We're getting now we got no weapons, though. Yeah. Oh. oh, no. Uh-uh. Find the key, guys. No, 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 no. Why is there fire on the floor here? I think I'm immune to fire. Oh, you're a lizard. Okay, who's got a key in their bag? There's no one. Ooh. Check the shelves, guys. I did. Okay. Cooking pots. Don't go upstairs yet, otherwise they start... Then Inga is collecting pots. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I found the key. Oh, I've got a pocket knife. It's locked. Oh snap, his friend is dead. Oh, there's some garlic. I got some garlic. Uh. Guys, I got some garlic. We can cook. Uh. Make like a lacquer stew, like lacquer garlic bread or something. Uh. Did you guys click on this piece of paper here on the wall? Nope. What is that? Uh, new um, recipes. I think we all get it, eh? No, I didn't get it, eh? I, I think if you click on it, we all get it, I think, eh? Let me try and see. 
Daniel, you're gonna have to cook for us. Oh, well, you got everything anyway. Yeah. Okay, guys, are we going upstairs? Ah, oh, man. I need to find out what. Guys, you know this Roman's right. pizza on Bram Fisher? I can't Is find the place. The... Which one? The Roman's pizza on Bram Fisher. Yeah. Oh, I got some gold. Eh? Are you guys ready? Or what's going on? Why am I running there? Ah, it's Ferndale. Okay, I got a flower pot. <laughs> All right, that's it. Quest over, guys. I got the I got the flower pot. Eh? That's it. Now we can switch off. We finish the game. <laughs> Ooh. I've got a bucket as well. So you right, reckon the well kitchen? She's, uh, she's like everyone's unconscious here. Yeah, yeah I've, I've been stuck. We're going upstairs. Yeah, I think so. Where's the where's it where's the thing upstairs? Eh? Where I am. Um, troubled waters. Eh? Daniel, where are you? Upstairs. We just kill the flames, yeah? Uh. Okay, I'm right behind you. Huh. Okay, the dog's saying... Not long before this thing snaps into splinters. Uh, hello, ma'am. Can I please have a uh, <laughs> medium tropical pizza? Zero seven four six three five. Extra anchovies. Six three five. Extra anchovies. One nine four four. Yeah. Um, a medium uh, tropical pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Ordering online, yeah. Another tropical, yeah, two tropicals. Yeah, two of the same, yeah. Um, big, big. Uh, um, if, if I ordered a Hawaiian as a as a second one, would it change the price? Okay, can I please have one tropical and one Hawaiian? <laughs> so I'm recording this. Oh my word. Uh, no, that's it. That's it. Uh, I'm at, uh, yeah, medium, please. Sure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, um, would you be able to Okay, I deliver? got the key, eh, Daniel? Okay. Oh, you don't deliver at all. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, no, then I'll have to cancel that one. Sorry. My I thought you guys <laughs> Okay, should I open the door here? Oh, none yeah. of us are skeletons now. Clip, where are you guys? Thanks, Tony. We got that whole order on on record, eh? Uh. <laughs> you don't recognize the now, dude. It's clearly warning you away. No, we we heard everything. You wanted two Hawaiians. Then you wanted you wanted one, no two. Then you asked for if she can if she can deliver. How do they not deliver? You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood it doesn't budge. The door groans open, but an ashen. Oh shit! Death for guys, run! Oh no, not the. Oh yes, I, I'm not immune anymore. Yes, see, Daniel looted everyone, eh? <laughs> yes, you're gonna be quick with Daniel, eh? He's yeah. probably like the richest person on the ship now. He can actually open. He can actually. He can actually open his own store now. That's how much stuff he's got. Eh? Damn, Daniel. Oh, I got a potato, guys. Okay. Game over. You shoot arrows. Yeah. Okay, then here's a bow for you. Thank you. Here we go. The deals. Where are you guys outside, eh? Man, 
that's all they have. Ah, uh, that's too hey, much no, cash. Don't go outside yet. I'm coming to you guys again, man. Eh? <laughs> that's expensive. Nothing else we can do here. I think we should. Uh... I really don't feel like eating cornflakes. <laughs> okay, are we going outside, guys? No, no, we have to go around. Have we have we checked everything in the in, in the bottom here? The uh, room that we have been in. Wow, I have chicken seventy rand. Where are you buying from, man? Eh? I'm looking at Nando's now, but flip, you know. These doors are all locked, eh? Maybe should we have to break it down. Should we break it down, eh? Yeah. He's like dogs running off. Okay, guys, that's the end of this episode. Guys, thank you very, very much uh, for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Cool, guys. Cheers, cheers. Bye.